NFL player philanthropist, I endorse and support the National Bullying Not Cool Tour fundraising events to stop bullying in our communities. Together, we can make a difference. I'm Anthony Dorsett, Jr., Bullying Not Cool. Former NFL player Anthony Dorsett Jr. is lending his voice to an anti-bullying campaign. The goal here is to empower teens to identify the problem and come up with positive plans to overcome it. Now, Anthony's back with us to talk about this. Uh, so, Anthony, what made you want to get involved with a bullying not cool program? Well, you know, it's just something that, uh, honestly, it's been a part of my life, all my life. My mother was an outreach worker for the majority of my life, so I've always been involved in giving back in some kind of way and just being involved in the community. And then, of course, with the whole thing that's going on with bullying over the past few years and just seeing how it's beginning to progress and get a little bit ridiculous, I would say, in some ways, mm -hmm. I definitely wanted to have uh, some way to get involved. In, and I'm always in schools helping kids as well, so it's just a part of my ministry. Yeah, so let's talk about the Miami Dolphins situation, for example. Richie Incognito, who was suspended for allegedly harassing his teammate, Jonathan Martin. I know you've spent a lot of time in NFL locker rooms. Do you think that bullying is kind of like a fact of life in locker rooms? No, no. no. Actually, like, this is, this is something that is uh, a little bit out of the norm compared to what most guys and like what everyone is really used to mm. and I'm sure you've seen that you know just covering it and everything else like that I mean the whole thing with bullying and hazing in the locker room it's like just it's pretty much a right to passage you know the guys come along before you they've paid their dues and so just as you come up along in the game as well you got to pay some dues it may be buying some meals taking guys out to eat whatever the case may be mm -hmm. but this stuff that's going on in Miami as far as with the verbal assaults uh, the, uh, the 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 racial comments right. and um, things like that it, it's, it's a little bit different than what I've ever seen or heard of so what was it like for you for your experience because uh, you've been on a number of football teams was hazing something that maybe that you went through as a rookie did you ever feel bullied you know, it, it's, a, it's a process that you got to understand. Of course, seeing my dad go through the NFL and everything else like that, like I had knowledge to a lot of things going into the league that maybe a lot of guys didn't know of before they got there. So I knew there was going to be some hazing. I knew there was going to be some rooking and things like that. It was not never an issue because it was never a situation where they actually, in some areas, I would say, tried your manhood or tested you as far as your, your character as a person or anything else like that. It was never about that. It was all always in love and, and right. fun and just, hey, we're going to bring you in in our way. Um, well, Anthony you know, Dorsett whole, Jr., like, we've we got to leave it there, but uh, we thank you so much for bringing this to light and all the, the hard work that you're doing at schools. Appreciate it. Thank you. You bet.